Our next award is Emerging Exporter for Outstanding Export Achievement by an Enterprise in any industry sector which has been exporting goods or services for three years or less. This award is sponsored by Qantas Freight and I'd like to welcome their Regional Sales Manager, Penny Ford. Penny, before you get to the finalists in this category, uh, tell us a bit about Qantas Freight's support for exporters. More than a century ago, Qantas pioneered air travel and our first flight all those years ago took mail and packages across Queensland. So our history is tied to air freight. We've been delivering shipments across Australia and to global markets for more than 100 years and we love the part that we play in helping other pioneering Australian businesses take their goods overseas. As an exporter, you're creating new markets and making your mark on the global landscape. So wherever your journey takes you, together with our freight forwarding partners, we'll be ready to help you on the flying kangaroo. And the finalists for the Emerging Exporter Award category are Bentley's R&D Incentives, South Australia. Headsafe, New South Wales. Laurany Estate Distilling, Tasmania. Packform, Victoria. Penton, ACT. Prohelion, Queensland. And Red Piranha, Western Australia. Thanks, Penny, and a great lineup again of finalists, really inspiring. The winner of the 59th Australian Export Awards, emerging exporter, is Penton. <laughs> Congratulations to uh, Penton and uh, Matthew, cyber technology, such a fast paced sector, right with opportunities. How do you feel as an award winning emerging exporter now, finding yourself honoured tonight? Koshi, I think you asked me uh, how we felt as, a, uh, as an award winning exporter. Yep. Um, so I'm going to say it's, uh, it is genuinely, truly an honour uh, to be up here today. Uh, it's been some trying times over the last couple of years, as uh, as most of us has, have been experiencing. But it's kind of moments like these that give the team the opportunity to be able to kind of celebrate the hard work uh, that's kind of led to the excess, success that we're now enjoying. Okay. So, uh, no, I'm very excited to be up here. Yeah, an emerging exporter, it's less than three years. How big a leap was it for you to get into the export market? Was it scary? Did you have a, um, a, a great blueprint? Koshi, again, I'm not 100% sure what you asked me. Um, <laughs> the audio is a bit rough here in uh, Nunnawal country at the moment. But I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to suggest that you're asking me how we went about doing it. And it was genuinely a, uh, a kind of challenging process for us to think about how we would build our own export story. Um, you know, our, our customer base is uh, focusing on uh, kind of military and, and government customers. It is, uh, it is a, a challenging and from Australia, not necessarily a, a traditional market that we go after. Um, we've been very lucky to be able to be uh, um, supported and recognised with our technologies with the UK government and putting ourselves in a position where we've more than uh, trebled uh, the exports that we did last year from what we did the year before. Mm, OK, so AUKUS is certainly going to be good for you. Matthew, congratulations again. Thank you, Koshi.